Today on The Hangout, we have to honor the 2015 Hall of Fame inductees, including my man, Matumbo. We go big game hunting, and we check out uh, Pop's beard, apparently. Nah. Spurs versus the Rockets. And we round up your Toronto Raptors double-digit victory over the Hornets. Hang out next. Hey you, you know what time it is? It's time for the Hangout. We're gonna spend the next half hour talking all your favorite moments and issues going on around the NBA. I'm Akil Augustine and today we have a superstar panel. I start on the far end with my main man, the man I get my news from, Mr. Dwight Drummond. Much respect and love, thank you for coming out again. Always happy to be here, man. And I don't know why we keep inviting this guy back, but he's, <laughs> he just seems to show up. Nah, man, one of my favorite comedians, stand-up dude. Uh, fellow Hoop Club TO member, Marlon Palmer. How you doing, man? And then, like, guys, I don't know. This is a big deal for us. Oh, please we've been, shut up. In the two years you can't do we've this. been doing this show. In the two years, I never get an inv invitation to hang out. Tim has refused to come on. Never get an invitation so to hang out. So we finally out. asked Sid. Now this like, is Sid Sixero. I'm unemployed for six months. God. Six God, Sid yes. Sixero. Who's the six o'clock yeah, news? One like, of the stop. biggest <laughs> sports <laughs> minds in the city. You're Listen, can you, okay, first off, you're unemployed currently. Tell us why. Uh, we have been... <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said is right. Uh, uh, off Sportsnet 590, the fan, till July 1st. Tim and I then get a TV show on Sportsnet July 1st, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern every day, for the most part. It's called Tim and Sid. All right, that's and, enough. That's uh, my show now. Actually, I just realized we're going head-to-head -head with Dwight, and we're going to lose. Oh, uh, Dwight yes. is like one of the most powerful oh, men in Canada who's not in the Senate. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. PBR. He's so, the Mike Ducky PBR. of the news. Uh, this is He's not very awkward. <laughs> okay, enough, enough. <laughs> it's time to talk Toronto Raptors basketball. Raptors round up. Some good news. Mm -hmm. They went to Charlotte. First time they've won in Charlotte since 2010. You know what's happened in 2010? Waka Flock of Flame released Hard in the Paint, and Drake dropped his first album oh, wow. and his first single over. So, how big of a deal is this? Uh, <laughs> how big of a deal is this win over the Hornets, guys? Depleted team, not very good this year, <laughs> so we needed it. But the, the Raptors needed it, right? Yes, we needed it, so we'll take it. Uh, the one thing I want to comment on, um, Marlon Palmer, James Johnson's haircut. Beautiful with thing. It. You're with it? I'm with it. I think we need that, you know, that intensity, somebody to, that to really show color? it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. Of course, it's a that, bold red that's one. That's the intensity. And he could have went needed. with the mature salmon, but <laughs> the bold red, it shows passion. First up, James Johnson scares the hell out of me, so we can do whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah. I support whatever that's James happy. does, and he's good with me. All right, okay. Um, so, talking about being good, the Toronto Raptors. Big 18-point win, okay. That, um, I forget the final score. Was it 92 too to 74? Too many to not enough was the final. All right, thank you, Sid. No. <laughs> but let's get into it. Kyle Lowry and Amir Johnson are out right now. Two of the bigger cogs in this Toronto Raptors plan for the future, especially for these playoffs. How, I don't know what to ask here, except for maybe, Sid, we'll start with you. How long can they go without these guys? Like, are you comfortable with bringing Kyle two games before playoffs start? Or? I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I think Kyle Lowry, with two games to go, will come back because you can't go cold into a series against Milwaukee or Washington. You just can't. Amir, they're being very quiet about, yep. and it's kind of concerning that was, that at this point. Uh, but I think the Lowry decision has been made because I think what happened to him the second time around freaked him yeah. and everyone else around him. Completely out. Yes, absolutely. So he's like, listen, we're going to try this a third time, and I'm not coming back until two games left, and then we'll see where it goes. Amir, I'm not sure about. And I, Kyle Lowry has to be on the court, or they're not going to beat anybody. Yeah. yeah. They couldn't beat anybody last year with him <laughs> on the court, yeah. and he played his, his ass off. Yeah. So. Spe uh, okay, speaking of playing your ass off, we're not to say that now, apparently, I guess. Um, <laughs> Tyler Hansbro. There's a guy that couldn't, Man, couldn't see the floor before. He filled in and he's looking great out there. But his energy, and he's always been that type of player. Yeah. He comes on, he gives you 100%, and he sits down. But so you know what? What does he say to the rest of the team, though? The guys coming out there with quote unquote energy and meaning the difference? Well, Why are, isn't anyone else well, coming I think out he's, there? A, he's like an unexpected energy. He's like a, if Chuck Hazer scored 20 points, I think the Raptors <laughs> would be pretty energetic. You know what I mean? So if you, you're not really expecting that much production from him, but for him to set screens, get the rebounds and do those little things that we need. So when he does play those big games, double-double two games in a row yep, now, yeah. 
then you got to be that, happy. That's the NBA cliche, right? You're always supposed to be ready. Sitting on the bench through all those games, when we put you in, you have to be ready. That's the cliche, but how right? many guys live the cliche? No, but Tyler's doing it. But yeah. it's, it's an, Tyler's interesting because, like, if, if, if the question were asked to all of us, come the postseason if everyone's healthy, what's the shortened rotation? Tyler's not on it. Hansborough's not in that not rotation. Not at all. So he plays 37 minutes last night in Charlotte. Yes. So, and he played, what, 12 and 12? Yeah. You're yep. telling me he's not now in that rotation? Especially if Amir comes back. If he keeps giving him minutes like that, Dwayne Casey's you not thinking, I can't go to an eight-man rotation if Hansborough's going to no. give me that kind of energy. Yeah. Because, quite honestly, that kind of energy's been few and far between yeah, this, since the Atlanta game after the All-Star break. That, that's been the calling card for this team is they lack intensity. But let's, let's, let's throw this one at you guys. Uh, Marlon, how confident are you that this Toronto Raptors team will get out of the first round? Right now it's looking like it's either going to be a home away season with Washington or Milwaukee. Well, I think we got a good chance with either team. Um, I think they're a lot more mature. They know what they need to do this year. They so had last year. Out of the first round? For sure. Yeah. I think so, for sure. I think so. The only issue are the injury. It all depends on how Kyle plays this. The way Kyle goes, this team goes. And if he's ready and he's healthy, we can make it out of the first round. I got to see Kyle on the court. I got to see him. I don't hedge on much. Yeah. If you ask me a question, I'll answer it. I have no idea how this is going to go because yeah. I don't think people are respecting what Milwaukee can bring to the table. Chris Middleton doesn't strike a lot of fear Those in people's hearts. Those guys play defense and they're athletic. Yes. Yeah. An issue at times the Raptors have had, uh, they've had problems with and Jason over the last little bit. And Jason Kidd seems to understand this team. They and he, lost, and he understands the Raptors, Jason Kidd. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead, Marlon. I think they lost a bit with Brandon Knight, though, going away because like, that they had a lot of chemistry there and in that position now. Person they brought in to fill that role. Yeah, you got Tyler Reddis, you got Michael My, uh, Carter Williams. He is. He can't shoot. For he nothing. is just. Yeah. <laughs> Thank wow. You. Thank you. Hey, shouts out to Sweets in the production booth. I've been telling him how bad Michael Carter Williams is. Horrible. Now. I also told him. He's like eight years old. What do you mean? He's yeah. I also yeah. he's the rookie of the year. He's the rookie of the year, man. That's what I'm talking about. We are hanging out. They are hanging out. We are hanging out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are hanging out. Seeing as how Sid is currently unemployed, he's trying to steal my show and my job, but we're not going to let it happen. We'll be back on the other side of the break. We still have more to break down here on Canada's Home for Talking Hoops. And I want to shout out Amir Johnson as a nominee for the Sportsmanship Award in the NBA. Shouts out to you, Amir. We roll with you. Hang out after the break.